Chris, can you still hear me? Yeah. Okay, yeah. So we were talking about a cash offer. So you said you weren't willing to accept a cash offer between two hundred and two fifteen for the property. Uh, yeah, I mean that's that's <clears throat> it's just a, a little too low for us. It, we're really looking to hold on to it it's, it's in some aspect. Got it. Got it. Okay. So I know that you were originally looking to get a little bit higher than that and hold on to the property still. Um, if we were to come in at a higher price, say two hundred and fifty thousand dollars, would you let me pay for this over a period of time with monthly payments and a down payment, sort of the same way you pay for a car? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it, it really it really comes down to the the paperwork and how we're going to structure this. Uh, I mean, there has to be some you know assurance that we still hold equity or or, or something. Um, or we're getting, you know, there's some sort of letter that tells us we're getting paid off, something we can prove. So we're going to record all of this with the county if we do come to terms, but essentially it would look like this. Instead of paying what we can in cash at, at 200 to 215, I can pay $250,000. And my only pain point here is that I'm able to get into the property for 10,000 down. So if I'm at $250,000, would you be okay with me putting $25,000 in your pocket now? making payments on your mortgage to increase your credit every single month, and then giving you some money on top of your mortgage as passive income every month? I mean, that would, yeah, that would be great. We, we you know, that, that especially helps con conveniently enough because we have some travel plans for a friend's wedding and a few things we need to pay for. So that, that would be great. I just, um, the only thing is it, how... How are you able to pay that much when the property, I mean, we did our own sort of comping and it, it's really only worth like 235 right now. I'm not going to kid you. Well, it's my entry fee that I'm concerned about. So I can pay above that if you allow me to pay over time. Properties appreciate over time. So I'm going to make you whole at the end of our, our period of time that we agree to by selling the property. So it's going to go up in value. It'll go up in value enough for us to pay you out in full. So what I would do is just put the $25,000 down, pay you $1,000 a month, 700 of that goes to your mortgage, 300 of that is kept in your pocket, and we do it for 60 months, the property appreciates, and then we, we put a tenant in there during that time who covers the payments, but really it's a long-term investment play for us where we can pay the highest and best out of any buyer. So our 700 would, would cover the principal. It would cover we have the, the 300 left over. Um, uh, but then, you know, what are you renting it out for? Yeah, you know, probably rent out for 1800 in this area. So we have some pretty nice cash flow for us too. And so that would cover all your stuff and you'd be able to, 